G'day everyone, so a couple of hours later and uh, I thought I'd show you the results of uh, what my yard looks like once it's all been raked and cleaned up guys, so it definitely looks beautiful once all sort of the leaves are all raked up and uh, it's always makes me feel so much better it's like a feeling of a bit of a relief uh, but anyway, another week or two and it'll basically be the same again guys But as I said previously in the first part of this video series um, the, tr the Port Jackson fig tree will shed its leaves for about four months of the year in Western Australia Probably around until October till about uh, probably uh, early April And uh, it's just part of having a a big uh, fig tree in your backyard guys it's definitely worth it with all the beautiful shade that it provides and I'll show you the other areas and we'll show you the area where uh, we put the sheep wool as well There goes Nipper in his cage. Usually I lock him as soon as he walks in there, guys. I would have closed the door. Sometimes it's really hard to get him to get back in there at night time. But anyway, this is a area here what's just been cleaned as well. So if anyone's wondering, these two little stone rockeries are two of my beautiful dogs, Graves Banjo on the left and uh, Cindy on the right. Cindy was a beautiful Dalmatian and Banjo was a beautiful Australian Terrier. Uh, so Banjo and Cindy are in many of my videos from a few years ago onwards from about you know eight years I suppose and uh, yeah but it looks beautiful guys it's always a relief but as soon as you start raking the, uh, as soon as it's all clean the leaves start falling again so already you can see leaves on the ground again and as I say in another week or two it'll be covered in leaves again in this area here guys I don't worry about raking up the leaves I just let it compost away and uh, this is all a beautiful um, tree mulch basically all of this pathway all these pathways are just tree mulch so all of this is just tree mulch guys so when um, we get people coming into our town and they'll mulch up trees and I usually ask if they can deliver me a couple of loads and usually they'll say yeah, you can have a free but I just usually give them $50 per load or well, they can buy themselves some beers at the end of the day and once again the beautiful jacaranda tree in full flower and right here guys is uh, where I put all the uh, sheep wool and it's all been covered with the Port Jackson fig tree leaves and eventually it's just going to be this is going to be turned into a beautiful little garden area for shrubs native grasses and uh, so forth so we'll just wait until all of these leaves compost away so I'll still continue adding more layers of leaves but eventually it'll turn into a beautiful garden bed guys and under here you can just see the wall here. So also on the very bottom of this um, garden bed guys is layers of cardboard and just many many layers of uh, the Port Jackson fig tree leaves kind of like uh, la lasagna type layers of mulch it's pretty high it's probably about one one or two feet high and but like I say guys I've got a sprinkler set up right here and uh, once it gets wet it all, all decompose and turn into a beautiful mulch 
anyway guys just a quick video i just thought i'd show you make sure if you can get your hands on sheet wool it's definitely worth um investing in sheet wool for your garden makes beautiful mulch for garden beds and also for vegetable gardens all right thanks for watching everyone and uh we'll see you in the next video see you guys